those of you who joined us for our inaugural 2K TV Tuesday event, thank you for helping us make it a huge success. We were there competing and checking out all the action and you all rocked it. But there was one that stood out above the rest. The 2K TV Tuesday MVP goes to XX Dowski, who won 98 games during our event. Congratulations. Keep it up and we'll see you for more event action in 2K23. It's your boy Dan Rue. Many of you guys know me from doing dances throughout the few years. They put my jump shot in the game like two years ago. So everybody did my jump shot because it's wet. Don't be jealous. Did your jump shot in the game? No. Exactly. Professor, what do you think of NBA 2K23 so far? It was dope. Right away looking at it, you could see the graphic upgrades. You know, like sometimes in the past, people be like, oh, it's 2K, it's always pretty good. But like, this one was exceptional, right? Right when I looked at it, I was, I had like double take. I'm like, this is a real game? Like. <laughs> so you're getting scanned today. How yes. excited are you about that? I'm super excited because A, now I get to play as myself in the game and I'm gonna start playing more than I do normally. And then B, I have history with 2K. So from 2K7 to 2K12, we did a lot of like the uh, signature moves for a lot of like the NBA All-Stars and stuff like that. So to come back here and be in collaboration is awesome. The game is actually really smooth. I like it. If they slowed it down a little bit, it's more realistic. Until I get in the park and I max out 99 overall, we're gonna see what really happens. Corey, we're here at NBA 2K23 Summer League. How's your Summer League been thus, thus far? It's dope so far. I just landed, kind of uh, came straight into this, played a game of 2K and just kind of mingling around and checking out the scene. And it's like good vibes in here, so I'm happy. Yeah. You are getting a taste of NBA 2K23 for the first time. What do you think of the gameplay? Super dope, like the last one, I was a little like, uh, it was a little hard for me on free throws, but this one, it seems like they made it a little bit easier for your boy. So I don't know, I'm super hyped. Um, they said it was like an early version of the game. So super excited to see where it goes, but so far so good. Anything else you want to talk about 2K related? Um, I'm super excited for the new game. I love the covers. Uh, I love that like D-Book has his shoe, like kind of like the focal point in it and it says be legendary. And I think he's a legend, just signed like a crazy extension. I love like the women's cover, love the Michael Jordan cover. You might see some circulate in the new game. Um, super excited for that. And, and yeah, like shout out to the whole 2K family and thank you for always having me be a part. What's up guys, we're here with Sunil and we are talking NBA 2K23. You recently got into the game since NBA yeah. 2K17. What are you wrong. excited about for this year's game? Um, well, for the first time, I got my uh, face scan. Yeah. So I guess uh, getting to play as me and my player, because I usually only play uh, my player. So um, I guess that, but then uh, also, since I'm from Chicago, I am a Bulls fan. So the legendary version, I think, the yeah. cover was MJ, so I'm pretty excited about that too. What's your my player? Um, I actually made a center because my friend told me that it was like the easiest to kind of. So you go the easy route. Yeah, I'm I'm new to basketball, so you know I'm just trying to do the easy stuff first. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Allie LaForce in a moment. Hey, Allie. 
Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. A very interesting alley. Good stuff there. Thank you. Now Denver's starting five. On the perimeter, Barton and Porter Jr. Down low, it's Gordon and Jokic. And it's Murray in at the point guard position. And for Memphis, Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. Desmond Bain is out there with Ja Moran. And it's Brooks in at the three. And a high-tempo game tonight. Both teams like to get out and run, Grant. Well, hey, when you've got the speed and athleticism, it's the best way to play. You have to challenge the defense to keep up with you. And the Grizzlies start out with the ball. Murray against Moran. Three-pointer, Brooks. That one doesn't drop. Now Denver takes it the other way. Outside quarter. Pass to Jokic. And they double up Jokic. An open look for Porter. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Well, the mechanics of Porter Jr.'s shot are just so efficient. Almost automatic. Gets the ball and puts it right up into the shooting pocket. Here's Moran. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from him. Outside Murray. On the wing, Barton. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. And Morant clears the board. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Now here's Adams. Banked it in off the glass. We've watched Morant get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Outside Porter. Pass to Murray. Let's it go from deep. Doesn't go for him. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Here's Brooks. At around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Adams up top. Adams double team. Brooks from outside. Hits the trifecta. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Now here's Murray. And the call is going to be, yes, on a legal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Moran against Murray. With the floater. Moran, no good. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Jokic passes to Murray. Back to Jokic. Pass to Gordon. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Bain. He's guarded by Barton. Bain, no good. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Barton left side. Oh, they need this. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. You know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start so far. He hails from a small town in Serbia. Jokic played basketball, but also a number of other sports that he credits for his current skill set. Yeah, he says water polo helped with the one-hand passes, and volleyball helped with the tippets. And the harness racing, well, who knows? But he was obsessed with it. Now a timeout called by Denver. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat.
approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Murray passes to Jokic. Can they get it? And the layup is good. Hey, even by NBA standards, Jokic is a mountain of a man. 6'11", they list him at 284. That's almost a seventh of a ton, folks. The Joker can handle whatever contact he embraces. Now, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Martin outside. Pass to Jokic. Over Adams. The Grizzlies pull it in. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Here's Brooks. Jackson. It's good on the putback. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Murray passes to Barton to the inside. And then Porter with the dunk. Leaving folks open around Barton is a no-no. He'll torch you whenever you do that. Pass to Adams. That's tipped. Back to Payne. Outside Morant. Five on the clock. Over Murray. Good D by Murray. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. And Jokic throws it down. At almost seven feet tall now, Jokic can definitely throw it down. And he's happy to remind defenses that he can do so. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. The Nuggets trail. Here's Murray. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Jokic passes to Barton. Back to Jokic. Drains it. Now he's three for five. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Jackson finds Morant. There's the drive, and it's good for two. Morant's got nine points. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Murray with it. Outside Porter. Pass to Barton. To the middle. Here's Gordon. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. I'll tell you what, that remarkable foot speed of Gordon's really causes problems for the defense. He's a hard guy to keep in front of. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Memphis. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. And the first one at the line is good. Got to stay active when Gordon's out there. I mean, his ability to make something out of nothing is huge for this team. Anderson's checked in for Memphis. Both free throws good from Gordon. Here's Bain. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Moran. Inside. Jackson. Good. And the setup by Moran. Moran's got three assists in the game. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. And here's Jokic. They get it back. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. You know, when Jokic gets his hands on an offensive rebound, it's too late to try to stop him. He doesn't waste too many second chance opportunities. Moran against Jokic. Moran with the slam! Wow, that 
type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. And, guys, I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Into the line Melton, the he's checked in for Bain. And a new group getting ready for the Nuggets. Cousins, he's checked in for Jokic. Najee comes in for Gordon. Green's checked in for Michael Porter. And it's Morris in for Barton. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Now here's Jackson. He's got six. Unable to get that one. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Here's Morris. The rebound by Melton. Memphis has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Murray against Brooks. Now here's Melton. He's covered closely. And a miss layup. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside Murray. Beyond the arc. Anderson pulls it down. Memphis leading. Outside Moran. Pass to Melton. Back to Brooks. Outside Anderson. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6'9". Gives you rebounding, playmaking, grant a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. Free throw drops for Anderson. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Clark is checked in for Jackson. Conchar comes in for Brooks. And it's Jones in for Moran. And Denver with a change here too. Forbes is checked in. And Anderson drops them both. And the Nuggets shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Oh, swiped away. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Melton. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Cousins gets the bucket. You know, we've seen Boogie hit threes now. Mid-range game, that's no problem either. Clark outside. Pass to Melton. Tries again. And the basket by Clark. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Yep, that one goes. You know, this is the next step in his development. Forbes understanding when to look to score from there. Now here's Jones. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Anderson. Rebound by the Nuggets. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Now, here's Green. Pass to Cousins. Shot clock at five. Over Jones. Fader on the way. Back to Green. The shot, no good. 
Now Memphis takes it the other way. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Nuggets. Green's checked in for the Nuggets. Denver has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. And here is Morris. Pass to Najee. Morris outside. Here's Najee. The Nuggets need to get one up. Here's Green. And another miss by Denver. Memphis has gone 2 of 3 from 3 point land so far. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Green. Here's Morris. Jones with the block. Up top, Anderson. Over Green. The shot misses. Now Denver takes it the other way. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter here. Forbes can't get it to go. Anderson against Green. Shot to end the cold streak. Second chance effort. And he's now one for four oh. after that one. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way. And that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. And so it's Memphis earning this break in the action. Up 10. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And the fourth pick in 2018, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rare NBA-ready defender, he talked about where he can make the most impact. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, you know, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. A veteran's understanding of help and positioning, Grant. Yeah, I love that defensive mind approach. That's why they're a team to be reckoned with. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. What stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one? Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. Oh, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. Brandon Clark out there with Kyle Anderson. Then it's John Conchar. Then there's Tyus Jones. And it's Williams in at the three. A small forward. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Woo! I just love that alley you slam, PA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, how do I put this? Nikola Jokic, not the most chiseled physique. He said when he first made the NBA, there were no muscles. None. Now I have a couple, he said. To be honest, I like being a little bit heavier because guys are pushing me. I need that weight. It's funny, they say. Quote, he's not even in shape. I'm playing in 80 games, and they still say it. Brian? Ah, the joker indeed, Allie. Thanks for that. Anderson covers. Nice D from Anderson. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Outside, Williams. It's rebounded by Najee. For Denver, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Pass to Forbes from deep. Out of bounds, it'll be Memphis's ball. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Adams is checked in. Jokic is checked in for the Nuggets.
We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Outside Jones. And another miss by Memphis. And the Nuggets shooting just 37% so far in this one. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know, I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses at any position, those two are ones that stick out the most. Now, here's Williams. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Conchar. Clock at six. And here's Adams from the arc. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Right side green, down low. Tries to snap the cold streak. And it's Jokic, that time on the assist by Green. You know, in the paint, Jokic is dominant because he can hurt you with the pass or with his scoring ability. And he knows how to position and assert himself in the paint area. For Denver, they've gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Pass to Forbes. To the paint. Here's Jokic. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now here's Adams. Here's Clark. Forbes with the rebound. The Nuggets have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Williams against Green. Pass to Green. Who poked away. And again, Nikola Jokic. And now it's just a four-point Grizzly lead. Jokic breaking down defenses and calling the work, getting busy. This guy is such a talented offensive player and a joy to watch. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. You know, no defense has really solved Jokic. After six years in the league, this guy is dominant. To the point where he's now a perennial MVP candidate. entire new group here. Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. Brooks comes in for Williams. Bain, he's checked in for Conchar. And it's Ja Morant in for Jones. Now here's Morant. He's got 11. Brooks, the pass to Jackson. Pass to Morant. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Offensive rebound. Adams. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. There have been more than a few NBA players out of New Zealand, but Adams will always be able to brag that he was the first Kiwi ever picked in the first round. The problem with defending Jokic, he seems to have an answer for everything you throw at him, Clark. B.A., he's a beautiful player to watch. Light-footed, doesn't overwhelm you with power or speed. All he does is make the right play. Show him help in the post, he's passing to the open cutter. Bring a double from the baseline, he slings it across court for an open three. If you sag off, 
He spots up and dots your eye with the jumper. It's insane and beautiful to watch. And he makes a first. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Nuggets have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Pass to Barton. Outside Murray. Outside Porter. Launches a three. Connects from downtown. Porter's got seven points. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Now here's Adams. Here's Jackson. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Porter against Brooks. Now Porter. He has seven. Outside Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. How about the guard getting up? Jamal Murray flying to the rack. Morant, the pass to Brooks. Here's Bain. To the inside. And down it goes. Jam that one home. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Porter shot is off. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Morant, no good. Denver has gone 1 of 3 from three-point land here in the second quarter. Harden attacking. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Cousins, he's checked in for Jokic. Barton, the pass to Cousins. Outside Porter. Pulls it. The shot, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Brooks. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Brooks has got seven. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. Here's Murray. The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got four rebounds now. Here's Bain. He's guarded by Barton. Bain, no good. The Nuggets have gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. Barton, the pass to Cousins. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Cousins plays with that kind of force. It really puts the defense in a pickle and typically leads to him being fouled. Two shots. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah, you know, you go back to when Cousins was drafted, and there were some that, that questioned his attitude, but lately, I don't think that's the case anymore. Morris, he's checked in for Barton. Hits both from the stripe. Memphis leading. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Moran against Morris. Morant, no good. And Denver shooting at a 43% clip during the second. Here's Porter. It's rebounded by Memphis. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. High arcing shot. Bain, no good. Denver has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Murray finds Morris. 
Back to Murray. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And as a leader, Murray is vocal. Talks to his teammates up and down the floor, and he pushes everyone, and they tend to follow. Free throw drops from Murray. And Murray's vocal to the opposition as well. He's used to the trash talking. I mean, he loves to challenge people. I mean, does it cross the line at times? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. That one drops. He ties it up. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Morris. Charity stripe shot. Morant, no good. And here's Denver. They're on a 17 to 7 run. Porter. Out to Gordon. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. You know, when Gordon is hitting this all the time, the defense will have to play up on it. Consistency is the key. Gordon against Moran. And out of bounds. Denver will have it. Denver's ball. Melton, he's checked in for Memphis. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Outside Murray. And he drives in. And it's Murray finishing it off. That tenacity on the drive. Murray is at his absolute best when he's in attack mode. Moran against Cousins. Shots good by Moran. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Inside. Here's Cousins. He can't get it to go. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Melton on the wing, defended by Murray. Morant, the pass to Anderson. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy basket. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Nuggets? You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Something else I like out of them so far. They're throwing their bodies around in the paint and scoring inside. That free throw, no good. The Nuggets making a switch here. Najee's checked in. And he's good on the second. Denver in the lead. Morris outside. Pass to Porter. There's the three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Anderson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead can be? But so far, that's not been the case. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Now here's Morris. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. It's rebounded by Memphis. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Jackson, left side. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Gordon. Over Brooks. Gordon can't hit. 
One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down. He's done a nice job, a great job, actually, of finding efficient shots here in the second. Shooting percentage always a function of the kinds of shots you get. And he's on a good roll after struggling a bit in the first. Back to Porter. Six on the shot clock. Over to the left wing. Here's Murray. That one a little long. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Like a lot of players, Porter Jr. is at his best when he's playing downhill, playing with speed, attacking the rim. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Grizzlies. They lead by four. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm joined with Coach Taylor Jenkins. What's the focus as you look forward to the second half? Just ignite our pace. You know, everything starts with our defense. Can we pick up our activity? We've got to get some stops. Got to keep them off the free throw line. You got to get out and run. They're showing a great crowd in the paint, but just trust the pass. Everyone's got to trust each other, get multiple actions, get some good looks, and hopefully they fall for us. High expectations for Coach. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was all John ja Morant in the first quarter. He had 13 points, four assists, and three rebounds. Kenny, what do you think about the Grizzlies? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on the And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. They've been poor offensively. Under 40%, they need to stop setting. Stay patient, move the ball around, them, find better looks. It's hard to score in this league. You've got to work for it. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been a clinic out there by Nikola Jokic. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. On the court for Denver, Murray and Barton, the guards. Porter Jr., the small forward, with Gordon holding down the four. And it's Jokic in it to five. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And Denver has possession. The Grizzlies making their last shot. Pass to Moran. Knocks it loose. Barton with a steal. Outside Murray to the middle. Here's Jokic. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Memphis leading. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. And that one's good. Plays with so much confidence. When Morant gets in the zone, he stays aggressive. Barton outside. Porter, the pass to Jokic. Now here's Barton. Oh, and he got the 
fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jaron Jackson picks one up. You know, Barton is a sinewy, mobile guard. I mean, he's tough to defend without fouling because of how slick and slippery he is. Well, you look at Barton's game, and you appreciate how all around it is. He can stretch the floor. He rebounds both ends of the floor, makes plays for others. He's an X-Factor kind of guy for, for this team. And he drops the first. Boy, another thing you like about Barton. Clark, he seems to play with a chip on his shoulder. Well, it's something, B.A. I mean, when you've got a hunger that's born of wanting to prove yourself, that um, makes a difference at the highest level. He succeeded through hard work and persistence, and that's how he plays, and that's how he continues to contribute the way he does. Good on both. You know, one of the things that's fun to watch, guys, is the evolution of a player, and Barton has really evolved into a solid player. Even though he was a second-round pick, he's come a long way. Now here's Jackson. Ten points for him. Adams finds Morant. And there's the foul. It'll go on Aaron Gordon. That's his first foul. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Adams against Jokic. Here's Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. I mean, just an agile move by Moran down low, working around the contact and getting it to go. Gordon outside. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got six rebounds in the game. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Shot clock at six. Shoots. Here's Jokic. It falls again. He's now eight for 12 from the floor. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Pass to Bain. And here's Morant. The three is up. Porter pulls it in. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Murray passes to Jokic. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got three assists in the game. The Grizzlies have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Moran against Murray. And then Moran with the dunk! The quick feet of Moran. He's so dangerous when he's cutting to the rim. Barton outside. Pass to Jokic. Murray with it. And here's Gordon. Defended by Jackson. The drive by Murray uses the glass to finish the layup. Murray's got eight. Boy, I like how Gordon dishes the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. Here's Moran. Oh, my goodness! Disrespectful. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sale. Now here's Moran. 21 points in the game. And he gets it to go. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Inside, here's Jokic. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Jokic has got 20. 
and his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes, they last days. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Williams comes in for Jackson, and it's Jones in for Moran. The Nuggets have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to Jokic. There's the drive. That one's good for two. 22 points for him. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Now here's Williams. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And they double up Jokic. The three is up. The Grizzlies pull it in. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Pass to Jones. Here's Brooks. Shoots over Barton. Here's Adams. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Adams has got five. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Not watching the line there. Violation. That'll be a backcourt violation. Mark is checked in for Memphis. Conchar comes in for Brooks. And the switch here also for Denver. Cousins is checked in. So it's the Grizzlies now. Six-point game. Outside Jones. To the left side wing. Cousins against Clark. On the wing, Conchar. Sinks the tray. Conchar's got his first three points of the game. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, B.A. Well, the players on two-way contracts getting expanded opportunities last season after the league eliminated the 50-game cap and permitted them to take part in the playoffs. The pandemic played a role, but, guys, teams are continuing to find contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Allie. Thanks. And that one's good. Six points for him. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. Barton with it. And the shot no good. A bit short. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Down low. Here's Williams. And that one drops. And now an 11-point Grizzly lead. And they're shooting with much more confidence here in the second half. The field goal percentage is now over 50%. I tell you what, any team will take that. I mean, if you're shooting over 50%, it means you're getting the kind of looks you want on offense, and you're being smart about it, and you're knocking down the good shots that you get. For Denver, they've gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Barton is athletic and has great vertical, so he's terrific at throwing it down when he gets close to the basket. Here's Conchar, checked by Cousins. And what a move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. To the paint. Here's Cousins. Clark grabs the board. Clark's got four rebounds now. Outside Jones. Oh, Green with a block. Pass to Barton. Williams defending to the inside. And he gets the bucket. Green's got six. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Timeout called. Memphis.
had some changes here for the Grizzlies. Anderson's checked in for Clark, and it's Melton in for Jones. Naji, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Morris comes in for Barton. Now here's Anderson. Five points in the game. And down it goes. Two points. He's got seven. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Naji, good. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Melton outside. Outside, Anderson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And that's his second personal foul. Second team foul. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Well, you've also got to love how aggressively they've taken that ball to the basket and scored off dribble penetration. The free throw drops for Anderson. Jackson, he's checked in for Conchar. And a switch here also for Denver. Forbes is checked in for Green. He does not get the second one. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Now here's Morris. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Six to shoot. Puts it up from 12. That shot off the mark. Nice D from Anderson. Here's Williams. Denver grabs the miss. Green's got four rebounds now. Two minutes remaining. Now here's Morris. Two minutes. Driving in. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. And that one's good. Melton. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the building. Pass to Green. Here's Forbes. Here's Najee. Defended by Jackson. Here's Forbes. Grizzlies with the rebound. Jackson's got six rebounds in the game. To the middle. And there's Anderson. That one's good. On the assist from Williams. And it's a 12-point Grizzly lead. And the Nuggets shooting around 52% since the start of third. To the paint. And it's going to be a three-second call. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one than they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Ja Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. Michael Porter, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Morant into the lane. And then Morant with the dunk. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Here's Najee. The Grizzlies making their last shot. Back to Morris for three. Buries it from three. Morris. Morris has got five points now this quarter. Memphis has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Here's Moran. Here's Jackson. Great D that time from Porter. Pass to Najee. The shot won't fall. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Grizzlies up by 11. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. 
<laughs> you can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. DeAnthony Melton out there with Ja Moran. Then there's Kyle Anderson, then it's Jackson, and it's Bain in at the three. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Here's Moran. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Moran's got 27 points. In the paint, Moran stays nimble, and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. Here's Murray. That shot off. Good D by Melton. From deep, Bain. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got four rebounds now. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Murray, shot is good. Well, the contact not affecting Murray one bit. This guy is a really naturally strong player. Outside Moran. He takes it in. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Jackson against Morris. Pass to Naji. Shoots over Moran. And there are the Nuggets with another bucket. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. Melton against Murray. Here's Bain. Outside, Anderson. Up top, Jackson. Now Moran. Off target at the rim. The Nuggets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Morris outside. And here's Porter outside. Not going to go that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. And here's Melton. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Morris. It's tipped. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Bain. Pass to Jackson. Here's Moran. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, teams try to get physical with Moran, but he shows exceptional body control off the contact. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Adams comes in for Anderson, and it's Brooks in for Melton. Jokic is checked in for the Nuggets. One shot. Going second overall in 2019, John Morant looks like a franchise cornerstone, carrying Memphis to a play-in game as a rookie. Now here's Porter. Pass to Jokic. Outside Murray. Back to Jokic. Outside Murray. He shoots it. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. Tell you what, guys, this has clearly been his half. And he's getting to a spot, shooting the ball with confidence. Excellent turnaround. Murray against Moran. Inside, Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Getting better at beating defenses. You see Moran's willingness to give up the ball to his teammates. Morris outside. Outside Murray. And they double up Jokic. Porter, the pass to Jokic. Fires it. And there's Porter on the assist by Jokic. Yeah, his court awareness and feel. Jokic is incredible in those areas. I mean, he sees the floor extremely well for a big guy. For Denver, they've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Morris for three. Pure from three-point range. 
in full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. Here's Moran. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Gordon. Here's Murray. Quarter the pass to Gordon. Over Adams. No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. Outside Moran. Pass to Bain. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now here's Jokic. Here's Porter. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. And now just a five-point Memphis lead. They've still got work to do, but it's impressive how they've battled back. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. Offensive board. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. And the Grizzlies lead by seven. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Morris outside. Pass to Jokic. Back to Morris. The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Bain. Jokic grabs the board. He still hasn't been able to convert from the field. He's just struggling to find his shot. Here's Murray. Drains it from nine feet away. Hey, that's really good, positive offense from Murray. Knows exactly what he's going to do before the ball even gets there. That's shot preparation, folks. Brooks. Shot's blocked. And they get it back. Outside Morant. The three-pointer off the mark. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Barton, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Into the lineup for the Nuggets. Will Barton. The Nuggets have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Unloads. Here's Jokic. Yep, count it. Jokic has got 24. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. present the New Balance player of the game, Jamal Murray. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. He told them to be more careful about their selections, saying, quote, don't force it at the arc. If it's not a good look, don't risk it. Move the ball, attack inside. Use your options. Allie, thank you. From 10 feet away, Martin pulls it in. Denver has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Shoot from the baseline. And Morant clears the board. Morant's got four rebounds now. feet. Here's Adams. Brooks outside. Sinks it from distance. One triple for him in the first half. 
Now he's had enough. The Nuggets have gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Adams against Murray. The shot that time not on target. Ooh, good work defensively by Adams. Moran against Gordon. The three. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got 15 rebounds here tonight. It's stolen. Here's Bain, defended by Murray. On the wing, Brooks. Down low. Adams double team. Three pointer. And it's Brooks missing. The Nuggets trail. To the inside. And Barton gets it to go. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now here's Moran. Inside, Jackson. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Jackson's got four points this quarter. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Murray finds Barton. Outside Porter. Here's Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. They've led by as many as 14. Here's Brooks. Second shot opportunity. Great D that time from Murray. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Barton outside. Pass to Murray. Here he goes. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Jamal Murray proving he's not afraid of the big moment. Big time shot there. Moran against Murray. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That's his first foul of the game. Morris, he's checked in for Murray. And for the Nuggets, Monte Morris. Here's Moran. Off the inbound. It's rebounded by Morris. Morris has got five rebounds in the game. Jokic passes to Morris. Now Porter. To the paint. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Porter. Porter's got three assists now in this one. When it's an important possession, Jokic steps up big. Now here's Moran. Just five to shoot. Pass to Jackson. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. Finishing through contact. Jackson showing why a 6'11 guy with real shooting ability is so dangerous. Now a timeout called by Denver. They're behind by four. 149 left in the fourth. the Nuggets now. Trailing by four. Here's Jokic. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Fantastic execution in a tight spot. Gordon capitalizing in the big moment for his team. Now here's Moran. Over Morris. And that one's long. Oh, it's been a turbulent quarter. Really rough for him. Nothing going his way. He seems determined to shoot his way out. May 
major poise for Porter Jr. Big time at coming through when his teammates need him to. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. After the Nuggets picked up a basket just a moment ago. Moran. Great D that time from Jokic. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be Michael pressing, Porter trying Jr. too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Morris against Moran. Out of bounds. It'll be Nuggets ball. Oh, that certainly could be costly. In a close one, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. The Nuggets making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Denver in the lead. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Jokic. That one no good. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. Brooks against Porter. Brooks the pass to Jackson. Morant, no good. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his makes in the last quarter. Barton's shot off the mark. And so it's Memphis with it. Pass to Moran. And it's good. A huge shot to tie it up. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Now a timeout called by Denver. Get on your feet and make some noise for diesel time. It helps them make a positive impact out on the court. And it also keeps the bench fired up. And the Grizzlies call time here. Guys, your thoughts? Ah, uh, they're in a tough spot. Barely enough time to run the catch and shoot. the Nuggets taking the W in a close one. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. Alright, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 
Nicola, congratulations on the win. What does a win like this say about your team? I mean, we are looking for each other. We are finding it. It's uh, when we start playing like we are supposed to play, we are really good. So hopefully we're going to continue to play like this. Thanks, Nicola. Back to you guys. Allie, thank you as always. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.